Hey, it's Tessa at Summer Nam for Premier Guitar, and we are having fun at the Devil Cat Amplifiers booth with Chris. Hello, how are yes. you? He's going to show us the newest amp they've got. It's called the Jimmy, right? That's right. It's called the Jimmy. All right. And so tell me a little bit about the specs. I think it's a true two-channel, but it's a little. It's got some unique stuff. So tell us about that. It does. The Jimmy is a true tube amplifier. It's all six L six based. You've got a clean channel, an overdrive channel, and then we've got a built-in third stage, what we call the dirt stage. The cool thing about the dirt is it's the only diode part of the amplifier, and it's a stackable system. So for example, I'll play a little riff here. Let's say I'm uh, in a in a blues band, and I'm. Get a nice clean sound going. If I engage the dirt, that gives me that nice vintage warm sound. Now, let's say I'm a, I'm a guy and I like metal and I'm, and I'm in my band and I'm in a cover band and I'm playing anything from, you know, Thin Lizzy to ZZ Top to Jimi Hendrix to God forbid if I have to play Sweet Home Alabama one more time. But let's say I do. And I'm gonna sit there and I, I need something with a little more meat, a little more crunchier gain. And I've got that nice crunch gain. Now, the cool thing about that is, is what the dirt level allows me to do is I can stack that also on the overdrive channel. So if I like that saturation that I'm getting, but I stack the gain, it gives me a lot more mids and to push through and it saturates the gain. So I can go. And of course, the way that the amp works, it's really designed to be every working man's dream come true because if, if you're like me, I do 100 shows a year, I play in a band that does all the aforementioned music that we just talked about. So that means I'm gonna play anything from Jimi Hendrix tonight, Steve Ray Vaughan, and I'm also gonna need something to give me that nice, beautiful, clean sound, you know. So they can look out in the audience and see someone like yourself and go, hi. You need some time for that, don't you? I do, you need time for that, you know? And then of course, what you can do, the final thing that I want to show the, the viewers, if I back down on the overdrive channel, and I turn the gain all the way down, it sounds a lot like the dirt stage. So if I engage the overdrive channel, and then I kick in the dirt stage, it almost acts like a boost, like a saturation boost. So I can get a lot of different tonal varieties out of that amp. Right, so it's basically like having a stomp box built in. You are absolutely right. That's exactly what it is. <laughs> Tessa knows her stuff, guys. Let me tell you, it is exactly like having your favorite stomp box built into the amplifier. There we go. And so you've got cabs and heads, right? Tell me a little bit about the other offerings. Well, the cool thing about our amp company is right off the bat, first of all, we're all made in the USA. We're made in Statesboro, Georgia. And we're one more reason that you will not be able to sing the Statesboro Blues. I'm going to go ahead and tell you that right now. Main States for Georgia. We're offering two different options in the Jimmy as far as the configuration. You can get a head version, you can get a combo version. Personally, I prefer the combo because it's open back sound. I tend to like those kind of amps. I'm more of a blues rock player. A lot of your metal guys are coming up and they're playing our closed back cabinets. Um, our 212 is a diagonal that he's uh, viewing with the snake skin. That's pretty cool. It's like a, I think Lane told me it was Python though. That's right, it's white Python. It is white python. Uh, I got I to gotta admit a little bit of uh, you know, my Claxton rattlesnake roundup roots there. Uh, my guitar teacher had a little old python amp growing up, and I said, one day I'm going to have one. Now I'm building them. So, you know, what do you do? Living the dream. Living the dream. In America. In America. And wh right. What are you wearing? Okay, this is our flight suits. Uh, I got to say a little bit, uh, you know, the flight suits, we said, okay, guys, we want to promote the American thing. We want to basically say, we want people to know just by looking at us that our products are American made and there's something a little different. So we consider it, you know, a lot of times, a lot of the big companies out there, they pick on the small independent dealers, they pick on the small, the small end user, they don't want to give non-signed artist endorsement deals. Well, that's not what we're about. We're about the guy, no, we're going to fight war with those companies. <laughs> so that's right. So we came here to pick a battle and we brought the grenades with us. And oh, where are those? They're right over here. I mean, that's an important thing that we need to see. Yeah, see, big boxes. You what are the specs on those? The grenade is actually a pineapple grenade, circa World War II. This one has a range of about 20 wow. meters. No, I'm just, okay, I don't know about all that, but none of this. But it is circa pineapple grenade, World War II. I play enough Call of Duty, guys. Look me up, plaid dot. Look me up, Call of Duty. There you have it. Thanks, Chris. Thank you so much, Tessa. This is Tessa for PremierGuitar.com. <laughs> nice.